Good morning to the Monday morning inspiration for the joy of creation and the magic of art, creativity, and play. So today's theme is let's dance, shall we? And I said also put on your red shoes and dance the blues. So I don't have red shoes on, but I put my red dress on. So, and it's just one of my favorite songs. Um. What if life was a dance? I mean, you guys can all now go dancing and that is cool. And what if we, see, it's, it's about an energy. Like, what if we live our life from the space of dancing, meaning the ease of it, the motion, the floating, where, you know, no matter what shows up, we dance around it. And dancing around it is a different energy than tackling it or um, handling it or dealing with it or um, focusing on it, right? Like dancing around it is, is, you know, could it be that it's such more, so much more ease? Do you get the difference in that when we, when we dance our lives? How many of you out there are struggling the struggle of life or the struggle of the artist, the starving artist or the, the starving creator? What if, what if we eliminate that word? The starving artist is like almost like an archetype or something. It's a, it's a definition. And what if it is not so? Because once we define it as life is a struggle, life is difficult, being an artist is a struggle, then it is so. We create it as such. Do you see my, my, my <laughs> painting up there? It wanted to be here. <laughs> so cute up there. With me today, it matches my dress. <laughs> And by the way, this is a beautiful necklace that my friend Julie from Julie's Crystal Realm made. Isn't it pretty? I love it so much. Look at it. It's really gorgeous. And you can also have this part of this beautiful necklace, the shells that make this noise. You can also have it in the back, which is really cool. Like Ines de la Frassange, um, if you recall her, that top model for Chanel, she would wear these dresses with like deep cut out backs and then this long necklace. Like how, how much of that is a dance? Do you get the energy when we are like also playful? We don't wear the rings the way we are supposed to. It's so funny. I never knew people would have even points of view about that. It's, it's years ago and somebody a friend of mine actually had a point of view about how I was wearing my rings, not on the ring finger, but on other fingers. And it's like, what? Like, okay, rings belong on the ring finger. Is that dancing your life or what? Right? Like all these shoulds and the, you must do it this way. There's no other way. This is the appropriate way. This is how we do it. These are all <clears throat> definitions, they are conclusions. And does all of that, if you tap, when you tap into this right now, does it have the energy of dancing our life or what? Is it something else? So dancing, if you danced your life, what would you choose if you danced your life <clears throat> every day, every moment? What energy and what space would that be for you and for your body? Just tap into this right now. If you just ask your body, you know, some of you might know, I, I love asking my body, all these questions. Um, 
what if your body knows so much more and what if your body is also here to facilitate you or to, to, to really, mm, how can I say this? Mm, create with you, play with you. And what does your body know? I ask this again, what does your body know? So if you ask your body, body, what is the energy of dancing or life? What is the energy of that? What is the space of that? What do you know, body? And for a moment, just perceive the energy. Like, what do you sense? How is your body? Is there more stress or is there relaxation? So ask your body, body, what do you know about dancing our lives? If we danced our lives, what would that be? Show me. How can we create this together? And what, what choices can we make today that would create that right away for us now and in the future? And I'm wondering if we all danced our lives, would the world be different? If we danced our lives and also not only from the space of for me, 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 but when we include everything. If when you ask now, if I danced my life, what would that create for others? What would that create for the people in my life, for everybody on the planet? And what would it create for the earth? You know, when you just for a moment hold in and ask the question to your body, body, show me, show me that space of dancing with gardening, dancing while we garden. And, you know, there is so much that our bodies can also contribute to our awareness of course, we all, we all have a body and we hardly ever consider that or ask it questions or say, thank you, body. And um, so cool, Victoria, that you are here. I was gardening a lot this weekend. And like on Saturday, I was in the garden for seven hours. <laughs> By the end of that, my body was like, hmm, I'm done for now. <laughs> and, and you know, I could have asked more questions while I was gardening, which I was just going about it. But I, I make the choice now to always consider my body and also the way my body relates to everything around me. Just while, you know, while you touch the soil, while you touch the flower, the plant or the tomatoes that you are planting still, I still have tomatoes to plant. <laughs> Oops. So like what, what, we can, what we can choose in this very moment is, okay, so when I touch this tomato, what is that? How, how what, what do I sense in my fingers? What is that? Touching that tomato. And also, what does the tomato sense while I touch it? Like, that could be a way it might for for whoever watches this now it might seem really abstract and i'm getting that it might be like way out there yet when we start asking these questions and are you willing to ask these questions to your body we will eventually have the awareness of that, also this communion with everything, which is the gifting and the receiving, the receiving. When we touch a flower, what awareness can our body bring to us about that? Not only for our body, but also for the flower. <laughs> Mm. 
you know, who, who said that again, that whatever we look at and consider actually and acknowledge, whatever we look at, we change. I think it's quantum physics, right? Whatever we look at, we change. It is our energy. It is our, yeah, our very acknowledgement of it that changes it. So when we talk about communion, which is a good thing to be in communion when we dance, <laughs> right? Otherwise, we might just fly off or step on each other's toes. So do you see how this is all, um, I make all these metaphors and, and I love playing that way because it, is, it shows us, it's so beautiful to see when you dance with your partner and you are not in sync, you don't, you don't consider your partner and you don't consider your body and your feet and how can you guys, how can you m move together when we don't have that, we will not be able to dance together. We will just do, each one of us will do something different. So dancing, dancing with a partner is where we are aware not only of our own body, but also of the other person's body. And if we are in a ballroom situation, also everyone around us, if you watch people dance in the ballroom, and it's like, as an example, the waltz, the, how beautiful it is when they all swirl their swirl, yet there are all the others also swirling their beautiful walls and they don't run into each other. It would be a catastrophe in Vienna if that would ever be. <laughs> the ball would be over, <laughs> right? Hmm, everybody would. That's so funny. I just had this image. Everybody like dances even into the orchestra. Like what would that like? <laughs> I have to have another sip of tea here. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. but dancing our lives what if that is also that ease of asking questions if I step this way and also for gardening right if I step this way now what is this going to create or at times um, Victoria, when I'm in the garden, I find at times I find I'm standing with this pot of a flower. Um, I'm standing there for some time and I'm at, really, I'm asking questions. Where do you want to be? Who do you want to be next? Where is the space that, that you would like me to plant you? <laughs> and it, it is... It is in a way a dance as it is so much more ease filled rather than concluding, I must plant them here. It's like, I must do the dance steps this way and no other way. And I basically want to be in control of things. So are you guys all willing to give up control? <laughs> oh, some of you might say, no, I know, I know. How much do you love controlling your body, controlling? Good luck with controlling your garden. <laughs> Victoria, are you laughing now? <laughs> yeah, things are incredibly out of control with the planet, with the earth and all the nature beings. When we start asking questions, we will have so much more ease as, you know, we will plant the flower or the tomato maybe in a totally different bed than we anticipated. And it might be that it will be growing so much better in the, in the location, in the in the bed that it wants to be in and also with other companions around it. You have all heard about companion planting. Are you there, Victoria? <laughs> I am. I just turned my audio on. I don't know if all my if my weeding bothers. <laughs> no, it sounds like I don't know, Let like me know. something is sniffing there around you. <laughs> The elementals, the elementals are there with you. Garden, and I'm looking at the weeds. <laughs> but I asked what wanted weeding today. So, yeah. 
Yeah. So yes, how much, how, and, and if you ask your body, Hey body, how much fun and how much ease can we have with this today? And also willing to ask the elementals to contribute. Hey, elementals and also all the other nature beings and um, fairies in my garden. Um, would you be willing to contribute here and to help me weeding so that all the other plants can grow with ease and just be magnificent and see what shows up. And for your body, you can ask how much ease can we have with this today body? And if you dance that. Uh, so listen, so just kind of say, okay, elementals, let's like a grass needs to grow somewhere, but grass, could you please grow someplace else besides next to my pepper plants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and what else yeah can you, what else can you can you create it's like okay what's required here and um what 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 can mm, what can i add to to my garden that would allow more ease or maybe mulching you know look look at all the possibilities i i just you know, I was doing what you are doing now on the weekend and pulling weeds and grasses and all kinds of things, which is like the earth is if we just look at this from the space of it's not wrong, but how magnificent is the planet that any, any bare skin that there is, meaning soil, it will not take long, yes. right? So, wow, for right. like, this is so cool that everything is growing. Otherwise, we would be soon in a desert. And what can I add to my garden to have more ease with this? I did like thick mulching and just like cardboard down and mulching around everybody. And so there's more of that to do. <laughs> but it's like, wow. And many years ago, I used, um, I cut the grasses before I took them out. If they were taller and I placed the grass down as mulch without seeds of course but things like okay what what can we implement here that will facilitate yeah. ease letting taking the grasses out and letting them um dry up but then letting them return to the soil as mulch once they're once they don't have active roots anymore because you know, you talk with them. It's like, okay, thank you for doing this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And uh, just imagine what nutrients and sunlight is there in grass. <laughs> but it's like what choices are there that, that, would, that would create that um, so that we can have more ease with this body. Show me, let me know. And all the fairies in your garden and the nature beings, first of all, have you have you acknowledged how hmm, have you ever acknowledged you actually and also how grateful are they for you being there right now <laughs> and helping them oh my <laughs> i'll receive that <laughs> if you for a moment tap into that just the like just asking well who is here is there anybody else here? Who is here with my, with my flowers, with my vegetables? Who is in my garden that I've never acknowledged? Yes. So are you there alone or are there others with you? Well, there's no other beings in bodies with me other than maybe bugs and those kind of critters. But um, no, I'm, I'm definitely not alone. There's, there's, uh, oh, sunflower beings and amaranth beings and pepper beings and kale beings and the lettuces are just celebrating that they didn't get picked so they can go to seed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, 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 <laughs> and what fairies are there and and you know like nature beings and nature spirits that are also tending to your garden 
and they might have bodies yet not the 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 human shape body um but who right. and, who and what is there that you have never acknowledged and i wonder what question no wonder gardening yeah no wonder gardening's been more fun this year Ooh. it's been more of a fun thing for me and not as much of a should or a have to yes oh that is also beautiful what you say there victoria um like well how much more of a dance is it when we do not function from should i should all this whatever guilt trip that oh i should be in the garden but i'm not <laughs> but i don't have i can't right now but i should and it's this eternal like circle that doesn't have an exit but it's just turning 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 and in the end we never go in the garden and do anything and then it's even worse right so yes right. dancing with dancing our life it, when we function from question hey what's what what can i create today what what where can i put my attention today what is it today body body show me um and see what what shows up it's dancing could also be you are you are in the garden and you don't stay there like an entire day but then you go inside or whatever and you just follow the energy and there you make a coffee or you make a, a drink or whatever and then you read something and then it's like dancing would be not having the conclusion of i need to finish it all right now it is it is really like okay what's next what's next yeah. and even being in allowance that all right this garden isn't going to be picture perfect whatever somebody's idea of you are moving around in your garden and moving away from wherever your internet your signal is so yes and that that was a beautiful point like how many of you are functioning from what everybody else thinks about your life and how you should do things you should garden you should be with your kids you should cook you and also when you should cook otherwise you are not doing it right so so whose life are you actually all living when you right. function from like everybody else's points of view are you really present with your life or are you out there out of your life and making it right for everybody else yeah there and then there's a dance between recognizing when you feel like you're doing it to make somebody else's life perfect but still realizing you want to include those people in your life in a way and 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 looking for ways to to do that to to be your own life with inclusion of those others that add to your life yes yes what if we don't exclude anything not include anyone but we are always aware of what they require yeah yeah like 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 the garden right, right? we are always yes. aware of where like have you ever noticed you are just walking up in the sort of right moment to this one plant that really asks for water <clears throat> so it could be the same with the people in our life like having that awareness of what and we can also ask this question every morning who requires what from me today what what can i choose what can i contribute to them what energy can i be for them so we all have more ease yeah how do you include mosquitoes in this whole thing <laughs> right yeah <clears throat> dancing with mosquitoes like uh, holding on to their little wings and oh let's have a dance <laughs> yeah wham <laughs> <laughs> yeah what you you could you could um like okay functioning from question is 
is what I would say, first of all, and not, not having any conclusion, you could ask your body, Hey body, what, what is required here? And what, because does your body want to be stung over and over and over or what ease is possible with your body? So ask it, okay, body, what's required? What would you love? Like, would you like an, an insect spray? There are diff all kinds of different mixes of sprays and oils and um, you know, your body might say, give me a long sleeve shirt out of a very thin, like there are these amazing um, fabrics for bikers, for instance, bicycle, right? <clears throat> they have, right. you barely feel them on the skin, yet they are there. So the skin is covered. Or um, it might be that you get an awareness of the time of the day when to be out there in the garden, not taught sunset or, you know, what, when is it body? Um, and then also you can ask your body um, to, to create a scent or chemicals that would yeah. uh, repel insects. I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what chemicals can we can we produce body that will repel insects and keep them like I don't know like at um, ten feet distance from us all around us? Yep, that sounds great. Let's get on that body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other day I was at a party and everybody it was outside. Everybody started spraying this weird spray on their uh -huh. body fuming everything i i had to remove myself i could not breathe there it was so weird and they had it all sticking on their bodies and my body was just like no let's go here let's so i went inside where i didn't have to to inhale the scent and and so really asking questions like what else is possible and so for some of you this spray might be okay yet what if we start asking questions what is it body? What do you require? Yeah. And maybe not be outside at the worst time of the day thought sunset, you know, when they are just hunting, <laughs> you are just prey for all the mosquitoes around. <laughs> oh, there she is again. Yum. <laughs> and they, they have a party with your body. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what kind of a contribution am I offering myself up to? <laughs> and do yes. I want to choose that? <laughs> yes, and all the vampires. Who else wants to have some of my blood? No, 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 no. no. Like, okay, everything <laughs> that brings up for everyone. <laughs> Let's uncreate and destroy it. Cool. Um, yeah, ask your body what's required. Body, what do you, what do you, what do you, what can I apply? What can I use? What is possible here for, for more ease? yes yeah cool and then what what is that dance right it it might also always be different the the basic thing is when we ask questions and we always function from question we will get awareness and we will find that we make different choices yes cool that's amazing and maybe you should wear red shoes when you go in your garden. <laughs> your dance shoes. Find some red dance oh. shoes. <laughs> I'll have to look at that. At least, at least hot pink socks. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yes, truly, what joy is possible. And yeah, what joy and enjoyment is possible with everything in life, with the chores, with the with the the cleaning the house or taking care of the cars or the things that that we need to address and also who can help with this who could contribute to your life and who could contribute to you so that you yeah. and your body will have more ease right so keep asking questions whoever sees this and watches this in the future ask questions what if you don't have to do it all yourself and you are the only one but you can also receive the brilliance and the contribution of somebody else other bodies other people who can create with you 
So, um, this is the Monday morning inspiration in July, and it's a gorgeous, beautiful day, a really nice day for gardening and being outside in nature. So, what's it gonna take for you guys to ask questions so you and your body can enjoy being out there and create outside wherever you are with total ease and you have the joy and the magic of that space. So thank yes. you so much for being here. And yeah, what else is possible, Victoria, right? <laughs> okay, okay, so have a wonderful week. Enjoy the outdoors. And I see you all next Monday when we talk about kissing flowers and being kissed by them. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.